This is Hydrogen Tap. What you're looking at is the Honda that I'm installing the new cell in. That's the Aaron cell. This is 3 by 8 inches. There are 16 plates in this one. The cell itself stands uh, 12, 13 inches high. The tube is 12 inches and the two half inch plates on either side. Same configuration, the Aaron cell. If you want to see more information on that, you can go to hydrogentap.com. There's the new addition that I've installed, the hydrogen tube coming from the cell to the back of the air filter that goes under the filter itself. There's going to be other modifications. You can see the sensor to the right of that. One of the modifications I'm going to do is make or cut off most of the air that's coming into the breather tube there. You can see the top of the cell. This cell puts out considerable amount of hydrogen and hopefully this will do the trick. A lot of people are asking what I'm going to intend to do with this. First it's going to be running beside the gas and then I'm going to put the gas as very lean. There's a, sh a picture of the cable going to the cab and that one right there is a second cable that's going to be hooked to the positive lead of the battery. I've got the positive lead going to one side of the cell, the other side going into the cab coming through the on off switch. In this case it's going through a relay and then coming back. One of the problems I ran into yesterday was the switch burned out on me and it burned out in the on position which is very dangerous which meant I couldn't turn the cell off. Taught me a lesson. Now I'm using relays that I'll show you. That's the inside of the cab and you can see the two meters. Left is the voltmeter, right is the amperage meter. There'll be another meter there that's going to measure the amount of time the cell's been on. I'm going to be using distilled water and lye in this cell. See the two switches? The one that's covered with the red is the switch that turns on the hydrogen cell. It actually turns on the relay, which is an electronic relay. It's capable of holding 80 amps. And when you push that lever down, it turns the cell off. The switch to the left of that turns on and off the light that goes to the meters. And you can see there's a hole there on the left of that. That's going to be the light that tells you the cell's working. I have a lot of fail safes that I'm going to be building into this because of that switch failure I had. The relays are located under the dash. It's not a too good a picture because this is uh, evening here and there's actually two of them there. Actually it's a lot cleaner than it looks. It's under the dash and uh, the one on the left is running the hydrogen cell. The one on the right will be running the sensor, the water sensor that goes into the cell. I've got one water sensor I'll be using. There's a good picture of the tube going to the cell and the new ports that I'm putting on the 3LRs. You can see the way it's mounted here in the last video I showed it as well and that red wire is going to the positive terminal which is there we have it fused. There's a fuse there and there's a fuse on the lighting system as well. 
I've got a 40 amp fuse I'm using. I'm expecting the cell to run on between 25 and 30. Show you the inside of the filter, and you can see the tube that comes through there on the right. That piece on the left is an oxygen sensor. One of the sensors going to the engine. You can see the oxygen, the hydrogen, that's the white that's going to be emptying into the intake of the engine. Actually, there's going to be another tube coming from that and going further over because I don't want that filter there filled up with hydrogen. I want it to go directly into the intake. My wiring is marked red and black, red for positive, black for negative. And here you can see where I'm hooked in. This is a secondary fuse box under the hood. And there's two leads going into that. That's what I'm pointing at is directly to the positive lead on the battery. This keeps me from having to patch onto the battery itself, which has always been a problem. This is very nice and neat. I'm hoping to run the car less than 50% gasoline and the rest will be hydrogen. There's a good view of the water sensor that's on the 3LR, the same sensor. It's got gold tips on it that go into the cell. It's actually a mono plug with gold tips. And that is going into the cab, which will be going to one of those relays. When the water goes below that, the relay will turn off, which will turn on the light.